So I went digging yesterday and oh boy, oh boy, did I find great stuff. Wow, I was super happy, super excited to come home and to take it out of the bag and recheck everything. Wow, this was insane. Let's dive a little bit deeper into that. Hi, I'm the Hip Hop Collector A. And don't forget to like and subscribe. HipHopCollector.com So I went to a store yesterday in the city, which I do not often visit. It's maybe a few times a year I go there because their rap hip hop section is not that big. Um, but for some reason, I it popped in my mind like, let's go and have a visit. Let's go and check it out again. You never know. So I went there, came to the storefront and already in the storefront itself, nothing but classics rap classics just like whoa and the prices were like whoa this is even more interesting let's go inside let's go and check it out i immediately went to the rap hip-hop final section to check out if there were even more of those classics available started digging was whole alone in the store couldn't find something really special anymore so i went to the shop owner I said, hey man, I really like some stuff that is in your storefront. Can you help me to get those out? Because it was impossible to take them out by myself. And out of respect of the shop owner, I do not touch their storefronts, which is more than obvious, of course. And yeah, of course, he wanted to help me out to get those out. I just had to go outside, point out everything I wanted. He took them out and then the story started. Like he said, uh, the front covers are in perfect condition and they all look really, really great. But he said, they're all marked with an X. I said, what is the X about? He said, like, the quality of the vinyl is not 100%. There are scratches on it, but they checked everything. And he said, we checked all the vinyl and it sounds great. It looks worse than it sounds. So I was interested. I said, okay, let me, let me check them. So he took out all the vinyl, gave it to me. I could check them and you see some surface marks, um, which is normal because the albums are really old. He probably didn't take care that well about the albums. But anyhow, the owner of the shop, I know him already for a long, long, long time. Maybe 30 years. Uh, when he says he checks everything that comes in, I'm 100% sure he checks everything what comes in. That's why he also told me uh, when we received this lot of... Uh, rap vinyl we were in the beginning like oh no uh, we cannot take that there's a lot of surface scratches on it it will not be good um, then after some negotiations they were rechecking everything and it turned out that everything sounds really good maybe some surface noise here and there but okay um, when this guy tells me this uh, I believe him. So I went for it and I took the whole lot home. I played it here also. Not one problem I've met so far, which is awesome. And like I told you, the prices on these were like, whew, you will not find this online, the prices. But enough talking, let's go over them. Here you have them. Those are the ones that I got from the store. And we start with Kill Army Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. Super dope album. I remember uh, buying this in the 90s on the day it was released for a super, super high price on CD. I remember that the week after it was much cheaper, but I. I really needed to have it back then. Crazy stories from way back. Always cool. Kill Army. Super dope album. 
Next up we have You Got Golden Arms Redemption. Great album as well. Golden Arms. You Got. Dope. The second Kill Army album, Dirty Weaponry. Here you have it. Fantastic. I was so happy to find all these. We have the RZA as Bobby Digital, which everybody knows. Always happy to come across this one again and for sure for a cheap price. Mia Lansky and Joe Mafia. Wu Tang Records presents the Wu Syndicate. Great album as well. Maybe a bit lesser known for the broader public, but if you do not know this, go and check it out. Always love this one a lot. Next up, Mos Def. Wow, so cool. Black on both sides. Super dope album. Classic material. The list goes on and on. We have a Nas I Am album. So cool to come across all those classics. Some of them I have already, but I didn't care. It's so nice to pick up some old goodies again. Um, I, I told the guy, like, it does not happen a lot that you find stuff like this in a store nowadays. Because most of them are well hidden in, in collectors, collections and stuff. And he said, no, no, we hardly get stuff like this. So I said, there must be a reason. Either the guy had to move and couldn't take it with him. He needed place in his own house or he needed money. The owner of the store said, yeah, it's the last one. The guy needed money. Okay, it is what it is. Uh, I don't know who, who it was who sold all those stuff. Um, I'm happy with it. I'm happy that it's now in a great collection. We continue. Jay Dilla, The Shining. Awesome album. Rest in peace, Jay Dilla. Next up, we have a Michael Frenti and Spearhead. Everyone deserves music. I think it's from 2001, I believe. But as you can see, the, the covers are in a very good condition. Bone Tugs and Harmony, The Art of War, Double Vinyl. Awesome. EPMD, Back in Business. Some crazy good tracks on this one. EPMD, Next up, Def Jam Survival of the Illust. Starring DMX, Onyx, Death Squad, Cormega, Foxy Brown, Method Man. Just also took this one with me. Really cool. What else do we have here? Dog Food by the Dog Pound. Didn't have this one on vinyl yet, so I'm really happy now that I have it. Great. The Gangstar, hard to earn. Gangstar classic, rest in peace, Guru. And the last one, really, really happy with this one as well. Supreme clientele, Ghostface Killer. Awesomeness. Super happy. This must have been like the digging event of the year for me. Until now I say because the year is still long, but to top this, it's, it's gonna be very difficult. Nothing but classics, nothing but great material. Like I mentioned before, the covers are in awesome condition. The vinyl itself, if you look at it, I'm sure that some people would say like, mm, I'm gonna pass on this. But because the guy from the store said uh, they sound really nice, I believed him and he was right. It sounds really dope all. I'm gonna take care of it, take the uh, vinyl through some process to clean it some more so it will sound even better. And then I'm gonna add them to the collection. 
this stays here. This is awesome. Cool, this was my story about digging yesterday. Hope you liked it. See you all in the next episode. Peace.